Well, good evening and welcome in to the Brotherhood Sports Podcast and welcome back for you. I love having you on and we've had you a few times and I know we talked to you a few months ago and you were kind of, it was during season and uh, obviously your uh, last season has come to an end there in high school. Um, didn't end the way you guys wanted, but we'll get into that here in just a second. So before we jump in, give me a brief introduction about yourself and then we'll jump right in. So hi, my name is Ava Gall. I am a 2023 catcher. Um committed to Stanford, and I'm from San Diego, California. Awesome. Well, first of all, is that's a Raising Canes hoodie? It is. I'm such a big Canes fan, and I got this for Christmas, I think. I, I looked at that. I'm like, wait a minute. Is that? Because I, I was thinking it might have been like a team or something, and I seen it. I was like, wait, because we don't like in, in Alabama, we don't have one. Like the closest one, I've had one in Kentucky, I think, when I was there, so we don't really have one near me, so it kind of sucks. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Maybe like 10 to 15 minutes away from my house around there. So after um, games, we'd always go there. After football games, we'd go there. And Friday nights after football games, you will never, ever see a a fast food restaurant so packed. <laughs> it was insane how busy it would be. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm definitely jealous of that. Well, let's get into some softball talk mm-hmm. here. Enough talking about Raising Canes there. Um, so. Talk to me about just kind of how your uh, season was since we talked last. I know it was kind of in the beginning stages, like r- around that time. So just kind of talk to me how that was up until the end there. So one of the best ways to describe this season was just kind of like history in the making. And to kind of explain how um, postseason works down here is it's called CIF, which is where you play in your section. Um, and because San Diego is so big, there's like 60 plus schools in San Diego. That's huge. Uh, Yeah. And how it works is you're split into divisions based on how good you are, not really by school size. So you can kind of jump up and down through divisions. And then each. Now, is that that like each year you you can do that or like during the. um, You have to stay within your division for two seasons. Okay. And then switch. So um, this season we were in. D1 for the first time in program history. And then once you make D1, if you're in the top eight, you then get put into a separate division called open division. Okay. For the first time in not just the program, but the school history, we were in open division. Okay. And we ended up making it to the semis in that, lost a close one five to four, super good game. I was just so proud of how much we battled. And then from there, we qualified for, um, for state. And because California is so big, um, instead of like the whole entire state playing, it's really just like Northern California plays and then Southern California plays. And then we made it to the state championship for our division and ended up losing. It was a good game. Just, you know, like you had said, didn't really go our way, but we played a really tough team. So mad respect to them. And that's kind of how the season ended. I was just so, so proud of the girls because last year, at the end of last year, we lost um, to a team that we had beat by a lot twice that season. Then we lost to them. And then there was just not a lot of fight in us. Then we lost a lot of really key players. We lost all of our pitchers. We lost our starting shortstop and our starting right field. So then this year we came in kind of really needing people in those positions. Everyone stepped up. Uh, There's good team chemistry. Everyone really fought for each other. And you can tell because of how far we uh, made it and just the history that we had made like this mm. team that we um you know that we had played with it will go down in the history of oh, yeah. high school yeah so I want to ask you with that so can you be is it different in like different sports too like one sport may be in this one and like you can be in this one yeah so um, for example, like our softball team, we're division one, but our baseball team, I think is division four. Okay. That's so, so crazy. Yeah. So all sports are different. And I really like that because if we were playing just based on size, then we probably wouldn't be playing a lot of good teams because, um, for example, in North County, San Diego, the schools have like two to four thousand and those are normally the really good schools yeah but then my school has about like 1600 and if we were playing other schools that are like that they just wouldn't be so good like for example like our league has a lot of people that um 
and like schools that are on that size, just yeah. because of how it is. And uh, we went eight and zero in league, and we won league. So it's just nice to face competition all throughout San Diego, rather than just like your area. Yeah, and I think I mean honestly, just hearing you talk about that because it's way different here because it's literally just one like you know we have one A to seven A, and then there's like your uh, there's like an AISSA, which is like some private schools or smaller schools. And it's all like, I mean, and, and of course, you know, the state's not huge like California. So like, because yeah, if you're out, if you had Northern teams go into like, it's, that's so much, but I, I do think that's good because like you said, the competition, cause like now you're playing teams that, like, you know, Hey, these, these people are good, you know? So I, I, I mean, it's interesting. It's kind of crazy to follow, but I, I like that. So now, I want to ask you, you know, through this season, obviously you talked about it being, you know, record breaking for your school. It goes down in school history, especially for just first time ever in anything, like you said. Mm-hmm. What what did you learn most? Like, really, I'll, I'll go two parts here about yourself this year and just about the team that you have kind of, you know, been a, been a part of. Yeah. So I guess with this team, um, something special about this team that I didn't mention is that we had grown up playing together since uh, rec ball. So like okay, yeah, yeah. I- old we had all played together so we've just grown up with each other and I had said like after last season that these girls kind of raised me you know they've seen me when I was little now they've seen me um as an 18 year old adult about (laughs) college and one thing I learned about this team is that they will fight and they will battle um we took a lot of these games down to the very last pitch so for example when I said that we lost a close one um five to four in the open division semis we were down five or five to zero going into the last inning okay and we scored all those runs and we ended up having bases loaded when we got and recorded that third yeah. out loss but like i just think it shows that the girls didn't want to give up and they fought and they fought and they fought yeah and especially then, after that that big of a deficit too yeah yeah and so i was just super proud and after the game i kind of like sat back and i was like like wow like these girls actually want it and it just kind of shows how committed they were to the season. And funny thing about commitment was way earlier in the season, San Diego experienced its first ever blizzard and we had to drive through it. Oh yeah. I remember hearing about that. Yeah. We had to drive an hour and a half away to go down to um, like the desert to play this school. And we had to drive through San Diego's first ever blizzard. <laughs> and my coach was like, to me, this this just shows how committed you guys are. You guys didn't want to just turn around and go back home. Yeah. So I I guess like the word committed or commitment was just a big um, theme throughout yeah. the season. And then something about me that I learned was just like I really tested my um, softball IQ mm. and I realized like how much I've grown from my freshman year now because for high school season I call my own games when I catch like I yeah. call. And I didn't realize how much I learned and how much it helps with my hitting, being able to like read out of the pit and what ball it is, being able to kind of like um, figure out like what pitch I'll probably go next, like based off sequences, you know? Um, Yeah. And for for people that don't know, like, I mean, now that's uncommon. Like I know I've been to a lot of games recently and like, I mean, of course you always look, you know, whether it's a wristband or something like mm -hmm. the coach is calling down the dugout. So for people to know, like, that's very kind of uncommon now to do that. Yeah. So I guess I was just, I really pushed myself to my limits this season. And um, I'd say mentally, which is my softball IQ, I grew so much, especially just from freshman to now, which I mean, that's four years. That is a big change. Yeah. But um, I was just something that like, after looking back, I was like, wow, like, I didn't realize how much smarter I got in the game. Yeah, and it's kind of crazy to see that too. Like the 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 maturity level is, you know, just learning. Like you said, your IQ and everything. And now I want to get to. Uh, I, it was a funny thing when you I'd asked you to do a video for us, and you wrote back to me. Um, yeah, hey, like I just got done. You know, you know, I'm kind of a mess right now and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so kind of talk to me about just the bittersweet, like you know, moment when when you knew, hey, obviously, it, like you said, like we said, it didn't go that way, but. When it kind of when you kind of realized it and then you were like, oh wow, this is this is it, you know? Yeah, I mean, it was hard because um, bittersweet's a perfect way to explain it. Yeah. Because, um, I have dreamt of playing college softball since I was seven years old. You know, when I was seven, I looked at my parents and said, "Hey, 
I want to play on TV one day. And especially looking at the season that Stanford had, they made it to the semifinals in Oklahoma City. You know, that's every little kid's dream. And knowing I'm going to a school where I can make those dreams come true. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to challenge myself, push myself to the next level and kind of get out of my comfort zone. That is the town that I live in. Yeah. You know, it's I when I always say that the best way to grow is to get um, comfortable in the uncomfortable. Yes. You know, just to be able to push myself, um, learn who I am. And I'm just I'm so excited for that next step but also at the same time what I had kind of I mentioned earlier is that I grew up with all these girls so once that final out was recorded funny enough I cried more after my last game than I did on my graduation (laughs) I just yeah I was upset we lost but that's not really why I was emotional I was emotional because after that last out was recorded and I had hugged those girls goodbye that was kind of me saying goodbye to my childhood and knowing that that chapter of my life is done and that I'll you know I won't be that little kid again running around in at the fields with you know like the rec ball jersey like, <laughs> I just my childhood um was over yeah I'm getting ready to go into the adult world and the college world which is scary because yeah. you can try and um be as prepared as you can but you know you'll never really be prepared for what life's gonna throw at you so it was bittersweet, but, and it was hard, but here we are now. So, yeah. And especially, you know, and, and, uh, it, it's funny you talked about the, like you cried more there and obviously, cause I mean, obviously you're going to, you know, graduation is one of those bittersweet moments too, especially for somebody like you, like we had talked about before you were very involved in your school and you know, everything like that. Um, but just when you know, like that's, what's different between school and travel, because like you said, you've grown up with these people, they, they've kind of been around you, you know, they, all these things, whether it's coaches or players, the parents, you get to know everybody in the community and everything. So it's so different than traveling because travel obviously is one, like a, a really cool thing too. But like you, like you said, since grade school and all these things, so that that's awesome. And thank you for sharing that. So now we will talk about that future uh, for you. I know now you're kind of full swing into like um, the summer ball and everything, but talk to me about what you are looking for. Obviously, like you said, most people watch Stanford have a great run there in the, in the semifinals and everything in the world series, obviously tremendous talent coming back. I mean, I mean, pitching is going to be awesome there. So for, for a little bit, so yeah. talk to me just about what you are ready for that after you uh, have closed that chapter in high school. Yeah. So one thing about myself is that I kind of said, like, I love challenging myself. I love pushing myself. I love it when I have another catcher on the team. That's really good because it, motivates me to like work even harder yeah you know and it's just I'm kind of excited for that and um I just I want to go to Oklahoma City so bad that would be just that's every kid's dream and I'm just I'm looking forward to that and with this summer um I kind of have to take everything one day at a time because a lot of these girls I've I've been on my travel team for eight years okay yeah yeah. I've known these girls for a while and it's at a point where you're like oh I'm like thinking about college like college 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 I'm excited for college but it's like I need to kind of cherish the time that I am spending each day with them now yes yes and I can't take that for granted because before I know like you know I'm gonna be leaving and I'm gonna be like I'm not gonna be seeing some of my best friends as much as I do now yeah so I'm excited for the lineup I have this summer um, we have a big tournament in Colorado. We have a big tournament in Riverside, California, where probably I bet you a lot of the girls that you talk to that are in high school are going to be at those tournaments. Yeah. Because they're just big ones. But I don't know. I'm just excited to kind of see how much I'm going to grow over these next couple of years and just see how much change I'll be experiencing now to this time next year. Yeah, and I think and it, and you are in that moment where it's like, okay, high school, like you just closed that chapter, but you still have this summer of travel ball. And like you said, yeah. that's really hard to, you know, I, I know for me, it would be like just hard to focus on that. But like you said, you you need to and you want to, because I mean, obviously being with a travel ball team that long, you know, that's something special too. And obviously, you know, it's like in that, in this corner of your eye, you're like, okay, Stanford's right there, you know, Stanford's right there. But you also, like you said, just kind of be in the moment here. And that, and I'm sure that's going to be challenging as you get close. Because I was talking – I was at a tournament this past weekend, and somebody was talking. They were like, 
talking about college and they were like, Oh wait, that's like two months away that I'm going there. And they, they were already like crazy. Cause it's already almost that time. So, yeah. so definitely there. So last question I got for you, talk to me about really what, what do you, I mean, obviously, you, like you said, you, you're not going to be as prepared as even you think you are when you get there. But right now, what are you like, what is one of the most things that you're excited about to get to that team that you looked at watching in the world series? What is that thing that you're most excited about to be a part of that team? Oh, I'm most excited about, I guess just like, like the team chemistry. So like, if you watch Stanford's games, they are all so, like, they're turning each other on, you know, yeah. they rally caps going. And if you watch me play, I am so high energy. <laughs> I'm cheering. I'm like walking out of the dugout, like cheering on my teammates, like screaming. And it's just, I'm really excited to kind of surround myself with that um, and be with other people that match my energy because I'm so high energy that sometimes it's like, I'll be cheering and like no one else matches my energy. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> but when I'm with other people, it's just, it's fun. It's like a party in the dugout, you know? Oh yeah. So I'm just, I'm excited for that. And also I'm, um, Nerd Nation. I'm excited for that education. Um, I love just like like sciences because I'm gonna. I want. I plan on majoring on human biology and exercise science okay. because I want to get into physical therapy and I'm yeah. excited to, uh, learn about biology and like physiology on just a much deeper level. So I'm just I'm excited for all that. I'm just excited about for what everything that college is gonna bring, and it's gonna be fun. Awesome. Well, I know you're going to do great and have a good, have a good summer. I know I'll check back in with you. Uh, you said you played a couple games today. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So keep, keep working. I know that I don't, I don't know how it is there right now, but I was at a game tournament in Mississippi and it was crazy hot. I'm like, man, I don't see how people do this right now. So mm -hmm. it's like, I don't, I don't see how y'all do it that many games. So it's San Diego. It's Southern California. It's supposed to be sunny, right? <laughs> was raining and gloomy at my game oh really yes we have not you can look we have not had a like truly like sunny hot day yeah. in like all spring or anything yet i'm sitting here i'm like i feel like i'm in seattle right now like this is <laughs> not weather and it's driving me it's got to get like i know i mean literally here i think it's just been a lot of everywhere because even in our state tournament, like they had to, there were so many rain delays, like in the softball state tournament, like, and then I, I actually had to ask somebody uh, yesterday before I left, um, like, Hey, is, you know, is, is everything good? Like the weather? Cause I kind of check it. Cause you never know. I mean, nowadays yeah. it's so like every, but it was like, I was literally like, it was crazy hot, but it, it was to me. And that was the kind of the, that was actually uh, uh, like disclaimer here. That was my first travel ball tournament I've ever went to. So it was, it was really cool. I, I got to see a lot of, uh, cool things about it. Cause I've been to a lot of the high school games this past year, but it was just, it's just a different atmosphere there. You know, like people were like, they were like people set up with tents and all kind of things, you know, I mean, I'm sure, you know, you've been there, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Good luck with everything. I know you're going to do great. I know we have talked about Stanford a lot, your, uh, your education and your softball. It's going to, it's going to be there. So definitely enjoy this summer. Um, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Reason. See ya. Bye.